Dr. Zorba Pastor is here now taking your medical questions <laughs> at 608-270-9933. Good to see you, Zorba. Good to see you guys. We have an air quality alert over all of Wisconsin until right. midnight tomorrow. What does that mean? Right. Well, that means if you've got emphysema, COPD, chronic lung disease, this is not the time to go out and exercise. It's really the time to stay inside. And if you do go out or have to go out, then you want to minimize that amount of time. And you probably want to wear an N95 mask because that's going to make a difference in the particulate matter that you actually breathe in. So it really is an issue. It's very important for anyone with lung disease or serious other medical problems. Yeah, it's, it's smoke from the Canadian wildfires. Right, amazing. You know, we don't realize, but that's what pollution is all it's about. Wonderful. I mean, it's natural pollution. Yep. Right. All right, let's go to the calls. We'll start with Al from Jefferson. Hi, Al, what's your question? Hi, see, my wife is diabetic. Mm -hmm. My wife is diabetic, so I'm calling because she's not home from work yet. What my question is, is that she takes that mom, Gerald. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and they're giving it to people for weight loss. But yet on the commercials on TV every night when they show it, it said it's not for weight loss. So, and, and one time she couldn't even get it because they were short of it. So why are these prescribers prescribing it when it's not? to be for weight loss well that's a that's a really that is a really good question so first of all these are a group of drugs called GLP-1 drugs uh, Mongero is one of them another one is Ozempic it's not been approved by well it has it's beginning to get approved by the FDA but not yet and what's happening is the drugs are in short supply because they're really good drugs for diabetes but it turns out we've discovered that they help with weight loss and so that's the reality is they're short supply for people who really need them there are other drugs that are on the market that your wife can take but whether or not they should be used for weight loss in the long run is a giant question right now we know a lot of that weight loss can come from your face so there's something called ozempic face where you begin to look old and haggard and and you may lose, you know, you may lose weight from your buttocks or from your stomach, but when you lose it from your face, that's bad news. Yeah, and it's, is it ethical for doctors to, to subscribe that? For well, patients? you can you can prescribe a drug once it's approved for anything that's off label. That's always been the case. And is it ethical? Yes, you can do it. Whether or not it's ethical and people know what the side effects are, that's where you have to have an, individ an individual talk with your doctor. And insurance doesn't pay for it for the weight loss. No, it does not wait, pay for it in weight loss at all. It pays for it with diabetes. The drugs cost oh about a thousand dollars a month. That's $12,000 a year. You have to take the drugs forever. Stop the drug, weight goes back on. Mm, all right. Next question, uh, Barb from Portage. What's your question? $12,000 Barb, you there? Yeah. What's your question? Yeah, I got a, one of those patches where it puts in a, you put something in it and I can wear it all the time. I don't have to keep picking my finger and stuff for my blood mm -hmm. for your diabetes so blood you, level right and we're for my right. diabetes right Right. She wants to know where she can find one. Yeah. So, well, well, these are patches. They're prescriptions. They're actually a little needle that is in the patch that goes in your arm and actually measures. It's a continued glucose monitor. They're by prescription only. They're expensive, and you've got to find out whether or not your insurance or Medicare covers it. All right. Let's go to Frank in Beloit. Hi, Frank. What's your question? I want to find out from Dr. Zorber about my weight. I'm losing too much weight at one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, weight loss, especially weight loss that isn't because you're actually eating less, can be from a whole bunch of things. First thing we always think about is cancer, whether or not there's cancer happening or whether or not well, you I, have something called malabsorption walk, syndrome. I walk about 8,000 steps a, every other day. Even if you walk 8,000 steps, if you're losing weight and it's not expected losing weight, that's the time to call your doctor because a lot of people walk eight or 10,000 steps a day and don't lose any weight at all. <laughs> so it's really important <laughs> and you're one of them, right? <laughs> we, are, we are out of time. Thank you all for calling in, Zorba. Thank you for your time. We'll a pleasure to be here. See you in a couple weeks. Yeah. Oh, next week, probably. Next week, yeah.